Hi. In this video, we are going to mainly see the definition of uh, a customer and also the relationship between a banker and a customer. This is very, very crucial. It keeps changing depending upon the type of account they maintain with us. So, uh, the main thing which you are all aware is debtor and creditor. This is in savings account relationship. Number two, creditor and debtor. This is in loan relationship. Number three, lessor and lessee in case of locker because it is being leased to the customer. Number four, whenever a customer gives a check for collection, we become an agent, we meaning bank, become an agent and he is the principal. Trustee and beneficiary in case the customer gives for safe custody of the articles. Then sixth one is advisor and the client wherever we are dealing with investment in securities of the customer. Bailar Bailey where we manage the investment portfolio of the customer. And the last one and the eighth one is pledger and pledgee when the customer pledges documents or goods to us. So these are the major types of relationships which banks deal with the customers. So we'll see in short each one of it how it is uh, being seen by the bank and how is it being viewed by uh, the customer. Is there any definition for a customer? In earlier days, uh, it used to be like, you know, the customer of a bank is not defined by any law. It is John Peggett is the one who defined it. To constitute a customer, there must be some recognizable course or habit of dealing in the nature of regular banking business. So the above mentioned emphasis on the duration of the bank account is now distorted. So he, uh, earlier it used to be like six months, the one year relationship should be there to be defined as a customer. Now that is done away with. Even a single deposit in the account will be sufficient to designate a person as a customer of the bank. So in the modern uh, terms that further got uh, altered and it says a person who does not deal with the banker in regard to the essential functions of the banker that is what are the essential functions as a banker and a customer first is accepting of deposit and lending of money these are the two things is not called a customer of the banker for example without a bank account in his name he may remit money through a bank draft and cash a check received by him from others or deposit his valuables in the safe deposit vaults. Deposit cash in the bank to be credited to the account of Life Insurance Corporation, LIC premium must be. Such dealings are considered as casual dealings and are not in the nature of banking business. So a customer of a bank need not necessarily be a person. It can be a firm, it can be joint stock company, a society or any legal entity may be a customer. So this is explained in section 45Z of Banking Regulation Act 1949, the definition of the customer. So now we will see the general relationship between banker and a customer. On the opening of an account, the banker assumes the position of a debtor. Money handed over to the banker becomes a debt due from him to the customer and hence this relationship is coming. A depositor remains a creditor to his banker, carries a, as long as he carries a credit balance. So the creditor must demand the payment. So in case of ordinary commercial debt, the debtor pays the amount of the specified, the specific amount on the specified due date. Whereas in case of bank, it should be on demand. Either it can be in the form of a check or now, currently we have debit cards, ATM withdrawal also can be uh, looked into. So if he returns the deposited amount on his own account by closing the account, some of the checks issued by the depositor might get returned. And, uh, they, they get dishonored and his reputation will be at loss. And hence, bank on its own will not pay the money back to the customer unless the customer demands the money. So proper place of time of demand and time of demand. The demand by the creditor must be made at a proper place and in proper time. Proper time is banking hours. 
proper place is any premises. So now that we have anywhere banking transactions can be, that can be done, the customer can go to any of the banks, bank, any of the branches of the bank, and demand the money. Alternatively, now the time norm is also shrunk. He can go to any ATM 24 bar 7, 365 days, and then take money from any of the ATMs. The demand must be made in proper manner. What is the manner? According to the statutory definition of banking, deposits are withdrawable by check, draft or otherwise. It means that the demand for the refund of money deposited must be made through a check or an order as per the common usage amongst the bankers. The demand should not be made verbally or through telephonic message or through a SMS or WhatsApp message. That cannot be considered. Uh, any debit in the customer's account should be with a proper mandate from the customer. Mandate meaning a command to debit his account and make payment from these accounts. So banker as a trustee, the customer deposits securities other valuable with the banker for safe custody. Then, so when the winner, uh, as we saw earlier, the safe custody, he becomes a trustee and the customer becomes a beneficiary. Uh, agent and principal is in case a check is sent for collection from another banker, the banker acts as a trustee till the check is uh, realized and credited to his customer account. Therefore, he will be debtor after the amount is realized because the money comes into the account. So, it is due to the customer. On the other hand, if a customer instructs his bank to purchase certain securities out of his deposit with a letter, so this uh, uh, this, in this transaction, it becomes a purchase and uh, trustee relationship will not come under it. So, banker as an agent. Banker as an agent of his customer and performs a number of agency functions for the convenience of his customer. For example, he buys or sells securities on behalf of his customer, collects checks on behalf of his customer and makes payment on various due dates, including the insurance premium. So these are the various types of uh, relationships which we have seen. Uh, in short, the important relationship which is uh, to be kept in mind, I will repeat, debtor and creditor in case of savings account and current account relationship, banker become a debtor. I am talking from the bank's angle, so uh, it will be clearer to you. Creditor and debtor, whenever a loan is dispersed, so loan customer relationship is debtor and debtor. In case of locker hiring, lessor and lessee will be the relationship. And in case of check collection, it is agents and principal. In case of uh, safe custody of the articles, it becomes trustee and beneficiary. Whenever any advisory services and security services are given, it becomes advisor and client. And whenever you manage the investments of a customer, bailer and bailey relationship. The last one is pledger and pledgee, where customer pledges the goods or documents. Um, this becomes a pledger and pledgee. So I hope uh, the important definition of banking and uh, banking customer relationship is clear. And initially we have seen how a customer is being defined. Um, now the, the modern uh, banking uh, treats every person who, even if he comes to take a demand report, demand uh, draft from the bank, is considered as a, a customer of the bank. And I hope uh, this video gives clear instructions about customer and the relationship between banker and the customer. This will. Uh, help you to understand various case laws or case studies which we will be discussing later uh, which you understand the basic uh, relationship between a banker and a customer. I hope this video is useful to you and uh, please forward to the, uh, the, uh, the students and the young bankers who will get benefited from this basic information. Thank you very much for patiently watching. Bye.